Holmes County voters have spoken. The alcohol referendum has passed. That means restaurants that meet certain criteria can get a license to sell beer, wine and liquor by the glass. More than 60% of voters marked yes on their ballots. News 13's Emily McLeod spoke to the Holmes County Development Commission to see what this change means for the local economy. Almost 17% of Holmes County voters turned out for the county alcohol referendum vote. While only 1,847 out of the county's 11,249 registered voters participated, 63% checked yes on their ballot. We believe this will be a good step forward for what we're trying to do to grow. While the county commission was in favor of the measure, the nearly $22,000 price tag of the election was an obstacle because it wasn't budgeted for this fiscal year. That's when the Holmes County Development Commission voted unanimously to foot the bill themselves. This was important enough that the county didn't have it in their budget to do it, so they allowed us to, um, to uh, pay for it, and we did. And luckily we came out a winner, winner. Holmes County Development Commission Executive Director Joe Roan says it was a roller coaster leading up to this point. It was up and up until today I was worried about it, but then uh, so many people called and they called their friends and got them to come, go out and vote and um, that worked for us. Roan says because there is so much growth already happening in the area, this measure will help Holmes County even more. If somebody is traveling from Texas to go to Disney World, and they want to stop and fill up their tank and stop at a good restaurant and eat, that's going to be revenue for our county. Roan says the Development Commission is excited about what they're doing for the county and says he feels they're moving in the right direction. In Holmes County, Emily McLeod, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Restaurants with more than 51% of their revenue from food sales and have available seating for 150 or more in at least 2,500 square feet will be able to obtain a license to sell alcohol by the drink. Zoning requirements and a 500-foot distance from schools will also apply.